What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in between seasons 12 and 13 of sneaker shopping, and today we're shadowing this man, Mayer. Gonna go all over the tri-state, New York, New Jersey, check out some of his favorite sneaker spots, and then I think he's gonna buy some sneakers. Safe to say. Let's go. Let's get it. Mayor, we're at the Inwood location of Up NYC. Mm -hmm. And what kind of history do you have at this store? This is the second location that Joe opened up in the Inwood section of Washington Heights. This is this is family. So you know my relationship with Joe, obviously, my relationship with Terror Squad. It's just family. And I pride myself on building relationships, like I tell you a hundred times. We mm -hmm. speak about it all the time. And that's like my brother. So, you know, it's white on white season for me. It's my essentials for the summer. And I'm here to buy some more white on whites. Yeah, so you're just making these stops around the city, and it seems like you're accumulating white on whites. Yeah, this is what it is for me right now. We're literally spring going into summertime. I need as many white on whites as I can have. You know, one and two, sometimes three wears out the door. There's something about buying inline white on white GRs. Do you like that more sometimes than even going after the hype footwear? Oh, one million percent. This is what made me who I am. I mean, general, you know, general releases GRs is what made me what I am. It's what, to my definition, really makes you a guy who loves sneakers. If you want everything that's hot, I really don't think you're in love with this game like you said you are, because it started from here. This is what created the hype. This is what created everything else. This is what made everybody want to go after the crazy stuff. You had to be fresh first, and this is what it was all about in the beginning. I'm sure there's a bunch of pairs waiting for you, so cash out. I know how to beg. Let's go. Thank you, Zoe. You're the best. On to the next one. Mayor, we're now at the Washington Heights location of Up NYC. Yes, yes. So I've heard about this wall. I don't think I've ever seen it filmed. This is a carefully curated wall of crazy exclusive sneakers. Yeah, this was my brother Fat Joe's idea when he opened up the store about five years ago. He wanted a wall, like a wall of fame, and um, his idea was always to have famous people, celebrities, put their shoes on the wall. For like, a, for like about a year, year and a half, I had some of my collection up in here. Actually, I did it twice. I had a whole collection, and then when Kobe passed away, I did a whole Kobe tribute in here. After that, Joe was like, yo, it's my turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, Joe put a bunch of heat in here. Ray Allen, obviously. Uh, he's signed. got the Ray Allen signed two. Jordan 2. He's yeah. got his Terra Squad Air Force 1s, which I'm definitely stealing one of these. Not even a question, even yeah. though it's not my size. You got the Cali, we the best 3s. You got the Georgetown 3s. You got the Q Rich. Not only do you got the Q Rich, if you look over, you got a Terra Squad right. Jordan. It's amazing. Now it's different. It's a whole different animal right there. So you got the Kobe 7. <sighs> Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's different. It's different. And then you got a very famous shoe. Yes, so this shoe, Joe has told the story about it, but I haven't seen the shoe in the flesh. It's just the Mike Bibby shoe right here, but it's only right if we bring out the man, the myth, the legend, and let him tell the story himself. Brother man's of all brother man's. My brother. What's going on? How oh, you doing, man. brother? You nice good? to see you. Hey, long time no see. Yo, man, man. <laughs> These guys. Sneaker this guy kings. Know, man. Sneaker kings. You told this story before. I think you mm -hmm. told it on Full Size on another complex show. Mm -hmm. The Mike Bibby 9. We've been trying to get into Mike Bibby's warehouse and we haven't been able to. He doesn't let anyone in there. I once heard, I want to say Michael Jordan told me this, but I don't want to quote it. Okay. Yes, Michael Jordan told me that Mike Bibby never took a check from them, that he always wanted to get paid by sneakers. Wow. So trucks would just pull up to his warehouse, 18 wheeler trucks and drop off all the sneakers. No, he invited me, we good friends, 20 years, his mother loves me, the whole family loves me, his brothers, everybody loves me. Yeah. So he been trying to get me there, like to show off and tell me. So he said, when you come, you can get whatever you want. So when he did that, I just started like a ballerina diving. <laughs> I was diving all over, I had some Vancouver Jordans, okay. color schemes, these joints and this. Then he got upset. You got, he, he was like, yo, he, was, he had a couple drinks. <laughs> and you know, Mike Bibby's cock diesel. Yeah, yeah. He told me to take one, and I took this one right here. Okay, and what- He actually choked me. Yeah, was it over this, or was it over the accumulation of you? Nah, it was disrespect what I was doing. Okay, and then this other, there's other shoes on this wall, obviously, this Kobe 7. Do you remember how you got that? I don't, well, think, I don't think we're allowed to tell how we got that. I can't tell you how we got it, but someone got fired behind that sneaker. Really? Yeah, actually, because they, they never had a collab at that time, and that was just the one of one sample. It says sample in it, too. It was one of one sample. It, it didn't, it wasn't supposed to exist at okay. the time. 
right in the bottom. I walked in, I thought it was an M&M 4, but it's not an M&M 4. TS on the back heel tab. Mm -hmm. This is one that you put in your closet. I've been offered like 70,000 for wow. the sneaker. And I won't it's the one. It's the one I won't try to steal. Everything else is here. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the one yeah. I won't touch. It, it, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a serious, you know, it's the holy grail, man. Yeah. It's, it's the best sneaker I got. You know, Jordan, Team Jordan, they made it for us. And they were just like, yo, we want you to have this. I was like, oh, my God. I got robbed for, I don't know if it was these or these. When, remember in the airport, in the somebody airport, stole them out? The eights, it was the eights. They did this sneaker for me. Okay. And I wore it at some award show in LA and I had a show that night in Vegas. So we jumped on the plane. Somebody who worked for the airport went in my bag and stole them. Wow. And they still, they, they replaced it though. Okay. Risky Jordan. stealing from Fat Joe. Oh no, very risky. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. Yeah. I tell people all the time, I say, listen, if we stand in here and it's okay, we're gonna rob Fat Joe, I would tell you, don't do it. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm serious though. Well, this was great. I appreciate you guys giving the time. I'm sure Mayor got some surprises for you. Yes, we're going around. Nobody knows how to blow a bag like Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm glad I was able to entertain everybody with that wall, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm here for. I need these white on whites, please. Right Let me get as many as I can get, my brother, please. Right. Now nah, I got enough white on whites for a while, baby. Yeah, I'm ready. All together, you got 5.30. 5.30? My brother. I love, I love this part more than buying the sneakers. I'll see you tomorrow. Never stop. I'll be back tomorrow. Let's go hit another one. Mayor, you said that your kind of like sneaker shopping habits or acquiring sneakers are built on relationships, but do you ever get the urge to splurge anymore on a shoe that escapes you? What's the last shoe that escaped you? Eminem 4. Okay, do you still have it or do you have no, it? No, I wound, I wound up not buying it. At one, at one point, this is a crazy story. Okay. Um, a kid had it, somebody who I know real good, I'm not gonna mention his How name. How recent? That's a long time ago. Okay. So it was, the shoe was going for 50,000 now. The guy wanted $6,000. Okay. I had $5,800 in my pocket. I said, yeah, I'll give you the 5800 This is an old man story. I'm a nice, humble guy now. And the dude was like, nah, I want 6000 I'm like, yo, bro, we know everybody. I'm gonna see you again. I'll give you the $200 one day when I see you. It was no big deal. He was actually standing outside a flight club. Okay. And um, he was like, nah, I want six Gs. And I'm like, you know what, let me just get out of here. And I wound up never getting the shoe. It was the blue one? Yeah. Okay. I wound up never getting it. I want to bring in your friend. We brought in Fat Joe at the last stop. Let's bring in friend of Complex, Mike Packer, the owner of this store. What's and up, I Mike? What's up, buddy? What's going on? <laughs> you guys both are built on relationships. Mike, talk about your relationships that you've had throughout the years with this community in Jersey and people coming from the city. And I know that like Jada Kiss is a big guy who shops here, fabulous. And talk about those kind of celebrities who have such a long-standing relationship with Packer Shoes. It's something where like, listen, Jada and everybody you know from Yonkers who thankfully continually shop here, it's because we've I grew up with them. Mm -hmm. You know, we you treat people like they're just people, yeah. right? Who knew that Jada, when he was seven years old, was going to be what he is now? Who knew that they were going to form the locks? Mm -hmm. And and God rest his soul, when DMX passed away, my dad called me. He's like, oh, you know, it's terrible. I remember him wow. growing up. And we did something with Complex last year with Diodora, and we did it with Hip. Mm -hmm. You know, all that stuff that we did. So all that stuff goes way back. And I think everything that we've done here has sort of paid that all forward and I think it's just a testament it's a testament to what we've done it's a testament to history but it's also a testament to the great staff that I've had over all the years and your dad that, that's interesting your dad what do you say about DMX Did DMX used to come into oh, the he, stores DMX used to shop there Mary used to shop there I mean everybody used to shop there my father remembers Mary shopping for Mary J Blige Mary J Blige shopping for church shoes I mean and everybody you know who we still know from Yonkers always talks about just the people that would come through that store. Well, you're here for one reason. I think, uh... I need some white on whites. Yeah. And yeah, we gotta that's get a favorite Joe, too. We, that's it. We're strictly sticking to white on whites? Yeah, I ain't doing nothing else today. White All right, whites. so that's it. And you're getting a pair, my man. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Boss man said it's a go. I need as many as I can get. I got you. And I need one for Joe LaPuma in a size 11. Got you, got you. Got it. Got it. 
Total of nine, and one of them is You got one for my guy, Joe Puma? Gotcha. My man. Your total of 900. I might just have enough white on whites now to get through the spring and summer. <laughs> my guy. My brother, thank you so much. Always taking care of me. My guy, appreciate you. I got all the sneakers I need. I got one more thing off to finish my spring summer look. We out. What's up, brother? Like Thanks always. For through. <laughs> like always, you always take care of me. I appreciate you. Absolutely. I heard you got something nice from me, so. You got something in my I, life. I drove right over. Awesome. <laughs> Thank all you right, so much. So oh shit. Present to you. New gift to the collection. Rolex wow. GMT, white gold. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is special right here. Nah, this is so fire. <laughs> so I'm a happy guy right now. And that's a very exclusive watch. We don't see many more than a few a year. Oh, and I'm happy for you to have it. No, I'm super happy right now. We got you some gifts too, because you always come through for us. <laughs> yes, sir, we got the nice Rolex sunglasses. You can't buy these online, no, but. Can't buy these anywhere. These have to be gifted. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You've been amazing. You've been your amazing brother, too. Your brother's nothing short of amazing. Yes, the whole sir. family, you guys are great. Now it comes the hard part because I got to pay for this shit. That's it. <laughs> Bring it right over there, my friend. All right, Mayor, the total here is 41644 for the watch and the bracelet. Oh, Lord. Here we go. It's always an expensive trip when you come visit. Man, listen, Gerald Peters knows how to get me. <laughs> You're all set. Your receipt is in the bag. As always, it's my pleasure, my friend. Pleasure's all mine. And you know I'll be calling you in like two Absolutely. days looking for something else. Absolutely, next watch. I appreciate you Absolutely, guys. Absolutely, my friend. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Shout to my brother, Fat Joe. Shout to Up NYC. Shout to Mike Packer. Shout to Gerald Peters. This is my episode of Sneaker Shopping with a Twist. Joe LaPuma, I love you. Complex, I love you guys. Salute.